This past month, you know, you go through these times where you hardly find any at antique stores and that sort of thing, and then all of a sudden you find tons. And so that's what's the last couple of months is I've found so many models, it's ridiculous. And they've all been great prices. Like this one, I think I paid $15 for. And it's the IMAX Thunderbirds TB2 Special. I don't know if you guys remember that, but it was a pretty cool show. Cool little model. It's already uh, done up in green. Here's the decals. And I don't think, I'm not sure if this was painted or not, or if this is just how it came. Might build it someday, might not. <laughs> I'm not too into stuff like this, but I, I just couldn't pass it up because I hadn't seen one before. I just thought it was really cool. So, set that aside. I've got a couple just rebuilders, like this guy here, this uh, GTO. Pretty dirty. I'm sure it nicely though. I don't think this will take too much. Um, let's see, There's this is just the body. Looks like a Firebird funny car. I do have, I think, I've got the Mongoose chassis that I think may fit underneath here really well. Um, let's see, this Ford, not much, not much there. I think I have the frame also. So most of this is there, so not a bad one. This will be a, a good rebuilder. I have that one, which is just 66 Shelby GT350. The okay. one that I have been searching for. It's not the best box, but it's the 70 Chevelle 3-in-1 Heavy Chevy. Yeah. I got this in a set. I think I paid $25 for five models, I want to say. Comes with a V8 also. Knowing AMT, it probably does. Has the plus pack in it. So this one, a little bit of, has been started a little bit, but hardly anything at all. So... That one's going to be a cool one. This one isn't that old, but it's the uh, Ratman. This is complete except for the decals. So I'm kind of excited to build this one too. 49 Mercury Sedan. And this one I'm really looking forward to. I definitely am going to do it, I think, in this custom version. I'm really digging that. I even like that color, if I could find that color. And it looks like it's got the stock engine and a 440. This one I'll probably just use for parts. I have, I honestly have so many of these darn things. It's it's kind of crazy. And we get on to some of the better ones, which is 61 Impala SS409 from Lindbergh. Now this is a really detailed kit. I have actually never built before, so this is going to be, I'm pretty excited to build this one. I don't think this one is all that old. From like 2007 or 8, I'm not exactly sure, so... Yeah, but it's, it's pretty neat. Yeah, that's a nice one. This one with uh, these other two. So it's a Prestige 63 Chevy Impala SS. But if you look at the, I know it's kind of hard to tell here, but if you look at the size of the box, you can actually see how much bigger this is. Here we go. And the reason for that is because it has so this one's unbuilt, but it has this big ass base in it, and I don't know if you guys remember, but back in, oh god, what, the 80s? They used to, it was real popular for a while there to have pins, have a base on here, and then you'd have a pin like sticking out. Shows it. Yeah, here it is. Um, you can put it on the base, and then you can put your pin in there, and put it on your desk. I mean, how cool of a Father's Day gift would that have made? Something like that for a dad that maybe worked in an office? Hell yeah. So, so there's that one. If you look at, and then here's another 63. Um, this is the exact same model, except it was done by Model King. And a much, much simpler box. And I don't know, honestly, if you guys could leave, if, if you know anything about Model King, if you could leave a, something down in the comments, because I just, I don't know a lot about Model King. If you King. know, please let me know down in the comments. All right, so first we've got this El Camino, and it's got the cool little soapbox derby racer on just it. Just to build it. 
Uh, my wife got me this one. It's a polar lights. I've actually never built a polar light, so this should be pretty interesting because I know they tend to be a little, totally. from what I understand. So that's going to be a cool one. And then I finally got the Chevelle El Camino with the custom camper. I am really excited to build this one. I love campers for models. So that one should be pretty cool. And then you've got the 57 T-Bird. And normally I don't, I'm not a huge T-Bird fan, but what struck me about this one is I really like, I want to try this custom version right here, this black one. It just looks really interesting. Give so it a shot. And then come over got here. the 76 Drag Strip Dynamite Vega. That thing's bitching. The whole top lifts up and it's pretty neat. Uh, GTO Hardtop. And just got this uh, Lenny Pond Malibu. I'm actually going to do a video of that one and kind of do the history of Lenny Pond. And then I just found this at Hobby Lobby, which was, it was only one on the shelf. And it's a Ford F100. Mm -hmm. With a full trailer, so I'm really excited to get this one. I think I'm I'm probably going to do this one kind of stock, with just different rims because I really like this color color pattern they got going on. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, and then I got the Bronco half cab and the Dune buggy and trailer. I'm really excited to do that one. And then last, I got a 116 scale Firebird. Now this thing is bitching, huge. I love it. And I did get a bunch of more of the NASCAR kits. I really like to use these for parts and especially the rims and tires and the decals. And then if you get a monogram kit like these, it has a distributor and plug wires already done. And they work awesome for if you don't care about if the plugs actually make it all the way to the cylinders because you're looking at it from the top. Um, all those kits have those in them. all this other stuff is pretty much stuff I've had for a while So nothing nothing too crazy and then I've got my Ugliest model that I own right there. That's a Ferrari man. Is it ugly? <laughs> and it, so I guess I'll show you real quick. Here is my new model room. I haven't really I haven't posted this yet because I'm still kind of getting everything ready for it you know getting everything set up but this room is huge i mean it's really big so i'm really excited to show you guys uh just like i said i just want to get it set up a little better than i do now oh i almost forgot i got a bunch of airplane models too so i normally don't do airplane models but i sh i really want to try a couple so all these i picked up at the goodwill and most of them, let's see, like this one, $7.99. Uh, this one, $5.99. I mean, yeah, so I, I couldn't, I could not pass them up. That's just too good of a deal. Sorry for the light. Kind of sucks. Um, yeah, it's just, I really could not pass these up. I think this one was $11.99. This one, the Devastator, that one I definitely will build. It's another $7.99, $9.99 for the Dauntless. And then I think this was uh, $10.99, something like that. Yeah, I just couldn't, I couldn't pass this up. So, yeah, that's my airplane collection. Like I said, eventually I'll build a few of these.